Welcome to the Pharma Voice 100 one on one video series with Taryn Grohm. Jose, congratulations on being named to the 2020 Pharma Voice 100. Thank you. It's a great honor. Thank you for joining us for this one on one conversation. Um, I'd love to know what are some of the keys to creating an innovative culture since you are known as an innovator? Uh, I think there's a couple things. Uh, first, it's it's um, having institutional support around uh, a larger mission. So uh, within an organization, prioritizing uh, innovation and being ahead of the competition on a continual basis. I think that's like first and foremost, and it has to exists from executive leadership down to an entry-level employee. So that creates the conditions for innovation. And then it's giving uh, teams and people room to, to fail, to be quite honest, because uh, it's always good to kind of fail fast and learn from mistakes uh, so that um, the process of, the iterative process of of developing uh, novel services, tools, things of that nature, uh, is continuously informed by uh, all of the learnings that we're gathering from things that might not work out as well as things that that maybe uh, come to fruition and are extremely successful for us. Um, but I think those two things from uh, essentially create the conditions for uh, us being able and being in an innovative role for, for us to um, create novel um, technologies and, and, and services. Fantastic, thank you so much for sharing those insights. And why is mentoring an important part of your role as a senior executive? Yeah, so I think it's always important to give back. And especially when you're leading a team, it's important to instill the confidence and, the, and also give your team the space for them to kind of learn and, and operate within uh, a certain level of, um, of freedom to, to explore different things. Uh, I think my style in general is uh, I like to lead by example. Um, and give people the room to kind of explore different ideas and concepts on their own. Um, because obviously everybody's gonna approach different business problems in different ways. And I don't pretend to have the answer to every single business problem, obviously. Uh, but uh, what I can do is kind of give best practices on things that I've encountered in the past, how I've, how I've kind of overcome those challenges and then let that be a framework for others to follow and figuring out within their own way how they are gonna meet the, the, those specific business challenges and conquer them. Um, I think it's it's very much incumbent on the, the I think, to, to um, take some initiative and, and, and kind of sharpen their own saw. Um, and then from a mentor's perspective, I think it's very much about um, kind of coaching without actually picking up the reins and doing things for people. You kind of have to let them figure things out on their own. For more Pharma Voice 100 content, visit www.pharmavoice100.com.